Good morning. I feel like I always start everything here in the morning. It's almost eight o'clock. We had um, an early morning when I woke up at three and like a panic and it was a whole ordeal. So then Skylar woke up at 6.30. I was like dead asleep. So I fed him and it took him almost an hour to go back down. So I'm taking the opportunity. I'm just gonna go sit on the bike for a little bit. I'm super sore from legs yesterday. Um, and my back is super sore. Um, so I'm going to whip up a dirty matcha latte. And I thought I'd show it. A lot of people have never heard of that. And uh, someone's, someone's walking out, just staring at him. Okay, so we'll see. So I have this leftover. I usually reuse these, um, cause why not? So it's technically a shot of espresso, um, but I use instant decaf coffee to make an espresso, which yes, you can do that. Um, and then one teaspoon of matcha tea powder. And then I mix oat milk and coconut milk to make it a little bit creamy and then um, I added a little bit of the skinny syrups. Um, I think it's vanilla almond. Oh, and I added a little bit of vanilla creamer to make it a little bit sweet. So this is sweet. Um, it's really good if you if you like matcha and you like coffee, you'd probably like a dirty matcha. I mean, you can order this at Starbucks. I have before, just not in a very long time. Um, but it's kind of like, it just has a very unique flavor that I personally really like. So if you haven't tried it, that's what a dirty matcha is. And it's really tasty. Well, I was on the bike and as you can hear, Bubba's is awake. I've been on here about 30 minutes. I'm a little sweaty. Um, sometimes like once a week, once or twice a week, if I'm not feeling like working out, I'll just get on the bike and spin for 30 to 30 minutes to an hour just to get something in to get my you know, blood pumping through my muscles and loosen up my muscles. Um, and you know, it's just, it's just like less low, low intensity steady state cardio. Um, but I just change up my routine. Like yesterday I did legs, the day before I did Pilates, the day before I didn't do anything, the day before I did yoga, cause my body is just like sore. And I think it's because my son is growing and he's getting bigger and it's, I'm having to get used to his weight and I compensate on my lower back when I hold him. So I push forward and I round out my back, my low back. And my low back has been killing me for weeks. So I need to switch that and get used to carrying my son the proper way. So I gotta jump off, go get him cause he's awake, it's 8.30. Okay, so we're on to breakfast. He um, has been pretty constipated, so I put some constipation ease. It's like this prune juice, all natural stuff um, in his oatmeal. And then I had, in my previous vlog, I made egg white bites with turkey bacon and mushrooms and jalapenos and um, tomatoes and spinach and oh my gosh, like it's, they were so good. Um, I heated them up. I was going to put them in like a toaster oven, but I was just so hungry because it's 10 o'clock already <laughs> and I hadn't eaten. Um, and then I had another muffin of the Trader Joe's, which I did in my other vlog too, the muffin. And then, but I put it in the toaster oven. So it get really, like I tore it in half. So it get really crispy and then I drizzled honey and peanut butter on it. And that like made it like so much better toasting it for some reason. And we're having a little bit of crispy made it so much better. But man, the egg white bites, that's going to be, I don't know why I ever stopped making them probably because they're kind of a tedious task to make. <laughs> oh, what? Did you eat your breakfast too? Did you eat your breakfast? 
your breakfast too? You just playing now. Um, so it was breakfast at <laughs> 10 o'clock. I made breakfast for my husband. I made his lunch. He has left. Um, now we're probably gonna go for a walk. Huh, probably gonna go for a walk. Okay, I should have recorded. I haven't done my brows yet. Um, but I should have recorded this, but I went through all of my makeup and just chucked like ton. I probably threw away like six lip lipsticks that I probably had for about like five or six years. Um, um, an old eyeshadow palette, old um, concealer, um, an old bronzer, just like stuff that I like, I still kept, but it's like, I never used. I just like, oh, maybe one day I'll use it. No, I've been in like the rating, like just rating everything. And like I said, there, like, there's some lipsticks that I hadn't even like really used. Um, but if you didn't know, all lipsticks, I mean all lipsticks, all makeup has like an expiration date. Um, it's usually at the bottom. I'm trying to, these all have, I can't, it's somewhere. Yeah, look, see this lipstick? I mean, I've had this well over six months, but um, it says six months right there. That's usually, sorry, you can hear my son. Um, but yeah, you can usually find um, an expiration date on them. Like this MAC um, strobe cream, uh, right here it says 24 months um, after opening. So you just have to go through and look at them. And I mean, some of them, I just, uh, I, like some of the lipsticks actually don't. Um, it's usually, that's usually what like the color is on the lipstick, but this is your, you know, saying that, or whatever, whatever that saying is for you to go through your makeup and just get rid of it and throw it away because, um, you're putting old expired makeup on your face. Um, so yeah, that's what I just did. Um, I'm going to do a couple more things for the yard sale. I just, I need to show you what I need to show you. Okay, the lighting is terrible in here. It's tiny. Um, but I have this bag. This is all yard sale stuff right now. This bag full of backpacks and different purses. Um, I have these spy glasses that are so old that I found. Um, some bags. I just have so many bags. Um, and just like random like stuff. Some old shoes. I have like hoodies and sweat sets. These are all headbands, uh, sweats, like gym sweats. This is all workout clothes, like sports bras and stuff. And then I have like, just like interior stuff. I got hats. This is like normal clothes, uh, decor stuff that just like, when I move, I'm not going to want to use. Um, I'm also putting these up for yard sale. I have two of them. I'm putting these gray side tables um in the yard sale um i still have to go through my christmas stuff that i'm gonna i'm gonna do that i feel like that's perfect timing oh um i am getting rid of this these two lanterns um are gonna go in the yard sale um so and i have like stuff outside i'm just wanting to get rid of everything before i leave okay we're moving on I am organizing photos, so I get them printed off Costco.com. Um, so I do a certain set for his um, photo box. So I do um, a photo box with each month of his life. Um, I do a little bit of some for the actual fan family album. And then um, the, <laughs> this stack is just from rehearsal, rehearsal dinner, and the wedding, just the photos we've taken is all this. So, and then I have um, this stack, which is all Missouri. And so I have to um, organize it because I hate that they come and they're all out of order, drives me nuts. Um, and then I picked up, so I had Polaroid cameras from the wedding and I was so disappointed. I picked them up and like 90% of them are black or just messed up. Um, I threw them away, otherwise I would show you um, 
but it was just so bad. I mean, some of them like were okay, but just like, like literally I had probably maybe 15 or 20 photos. No, probably 15 photos out of three cameras that I were able to like keep. Um, all of them, like they're almost like off center. I mean, my cousin was taking pictures and I know what she was taking pictures of and she wouldn't have off centered the camera because you I mean, you just don't. And then like everything was off center. So like what well, we're supposed to be in the center of the photo and we're like barely clipped at the bottom or at the top. Um, and then it almost looks like light was shining through like speckles and black and grays. And it, it was just whoever developed them just ruined them. And now I don't have those photos anymore. So I did get some. So like, they just remind me of like back in the day when we used to use disposable cameras and that's how photos came out. Cause like, you can kind of tell like how like old the photo kind of looks. Um, and then like this, isn't this, like this photo reminds me of my, my little niece took this photo, but this just reminds me of like a very old photo that our parents took when we were little. Like, I just feel like it's kind of hard to see, but like, you know how like they, it kind of like blurs blurs a little bit that's how disposable cameras come out so those are from those are from missouri like i said some of them came out but like not very many and i i'm just it's a it's just a little disappointing um so i'm organizing that and as you can see everything t i feel like every day is a get shit done shiz done kind of day and that's what i'm taking you on right now Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to make some yard sale signs with the tops of these. Uh, I'm just gonna like razor them off and then maybe write yard sale and then tape this one at the bottom with like arrows. Um, I'm trying to put them on like, um, like the big street signs. So that's the next thing. So I managed, he slept 35 minutes, so I managed to go through my makeup, braid that, vacuum the whole house, fold the laundry, put his laundry in, and starting on those signs. I'm gonna need more, but that's just a start. And now, your Bubba's is awake, huh? What? Yes, he's a happy baby. Um, so when he sleeps, it's like, I go nonstop. Like I don't sit down, I don't chill out, I don't do what I wanna do. Uh, sometimes I do have to work out cause I don't wake up early enough or he wakes up early and I have to have him, which is the case cause I only worked out for spun for 30 minutes. So I may have to work out with him. But it's just like time management. Like I plan when he's awake and I'm, I still can do stuff with him when he's awake, but I plan what I'm going to do with him when he's asleep. So I know I'm like, okay, this is what I need to get done. This is what I need to get done. This is what I need to get done. I can do a lot of stuff when he is awake too. I'll just put him in his, um, his walker or, you know, strap him to me or something. But, um, sometimes it's just, you know, I can get so much more done when he's sleeping, but it makes for a very exhausting day. By the end of the day, I'm very exhausted. Uh, a lot of people who are work full time or don't have kids don't understand that being at home with a child is a full time job. Breastfeeding, on top of that, is a full time job. Um, I'm baby. I'm doing baby bonding right now, so right now I have been like a stay at home mom. Um, I am still getting paid, not the amount that I normally would, but I'm still making money. Um, but it is a full time job. Like I wake up at least once in the middle of the night, which is usually morning time for him. Um, and then feed him, he goes back to sleep. And then like, I don't go back to sleep after that. I start my day um, because I know he'll either be as, uh, asleep for an hour to two hours and it's time to get up with him again. So that time period in the morning is like my time. So I like to have my tea and have my celery juice and kind of enjoy and relax and have a slow morning, make my husband breakfast, you know, do my face or my face routine. 
work out. Like I want to try to get my workouts in before he actually wakes up. Like that's like crucial to, for me in like saving time. But I don't just leave him and then just not entertain him. I, he's a, he has a full-time job. People can say they leave him and let him cry and you know, they can do what they want, but I actually entertain him. I try to please him. I make him smile. Um, you know, I make him sit up so he's, he can sit up sooner. You know, I just try to be as active as I can with him. Um, and then on top of all the other chores that need to get done. So it, it being a stay at home mom can be a full time job plus doing all the cooking and the cleaning and the shopping. That's what usually moms do. And that's what I do. And then praise the Lord for my husband who is, you know, able to work and he, you know, he's in charge of the bills. Um, he pays that he's a, He's been, he's done financial with his job for a very long time. So he's well equipped with that. Um, he handles the dogs. He takes care of the yards. He takes care of the pool. Um, anything that breaks down in the house, he manages. Um, so we have our balance. Um, I feel like moms always have like the more because the babies are just more drawn more to mommies anyway. But anyway, that's a long story long. <laughs> um, get stuff done. So Skylar just got done eating. I, I feed him one bottle a day, just so he's um, used to taking a bottle. And I'm going to eat. So we got Chipotle yesterday and I only ate half. Um, lettuce, brown rice, black beans, chicken, uh, chunky salsa, the red salsa, the corn, and guac, obviously. So Skylar's back to him. So I... And making my husband's dinner lunch. Oh, I sick I hear him. But um, sesame soy pork bowls from HelloFresh. We order HelloFresh every week. We get three different meals, and each meal has two. Um, so it's a dinner and a lunch for him. So that is what I'm making right now while he's um, going down. Final products. It literally took me like 15 minutes. These are for the top of them, and then some sriracha mayo on top but these are so convenient obviously this is not an ad everyone posts about these hello fresh it's just super convenient for me and watching the new shameless love it so we've been here he's kind of looks a little bit of a hysterical i'm not sure if he's if it's because he's teething or if he was just tired it took him like an hour to go down he'd sleep for five minutes and then wake up sleep for five minutes and wake up and then i rocked him down and then he was asleep after like two minutes of that so after him being awake for three hours i laid him down in bed and um fed him and let him fall asleep because he was just sometimes you just give in and you let him fall asleep on the poop and you just lay here with him sleeping next to you because you just have to. You don't have to, but in order to get them to sleep, to comfort them, just so. He only napped for 30 minutes though, so, so we haven't been laying here that long. So, I got a delivery right now and it's from Smallwoods and I order all my pictures from there always. Um, like my big canvas stick prints and they come. Um, I got one when we were engaged and then when we were um, for my maternity photos and so now I got one from our wedding They're such good quality. They're, they're wood frames. They're canvas. Um, 
So I'm actually gonna show you what, what I've been doing. So these are them. So that was our engagement photos, our maternity photos. And then, so this one. Ah! So obviously it's, we're face to face on all of them. That was kind of um, my plan. So I'm actually gonna take down this one. I wanted to get two of these to put there, but um, when we move, I just, I don't know where they're gonna go, so. This is it. Oh, they're such good quality. And the small woods is always like, they always have discounts. Oh, it's so good. Like you can see, it's like wood and this is real wood, um, different sizes, different colors. You can do wood, not wood. Oh, so good. What, what are you doing? So I also have a, a very big Old Navy haul. Um, for Christmas shopping for my um, nephews. And then I got um, Skylar a few things. I just wanna show you the cutest jeans I found. I just hope they're cute in person. Okay, I'm right here. You're getting a little fussy. Okay, so these are the jeans that I got Skylar. Yes, they're a lot older, but I could not pass these up. I think these were $14.99 and these were like $12.99. And I just literally like, they're adorable, um, loose, adjustable, adjustable waist, um, slouch, slouchy, straight. These were shown on like kids and oh my gosh, these are just so dang adorable. I was sold immediately. And then when I saw these, um, they were also just so cute. Um, so these are a 3T and these are a 4T. I, I always buy stuff if I like it for when he's older. Um, just because I just, I buy stuff that's on sale. So I got this too. And this was, um, I think this was five bucks and you know, me and palm trees. I mean, hello. Um, and then this is the Christmas presents for my nephews. Um, we have, um, a one and a half. Oh, he's almost actually going to be two. And then I think he's like four or five. So I got them um, like sets, like match, but don't match. So they're overalls and then um, like little tie dye shirts. And I just thought they were so cute. Um, and then if we were moving to Missouri, it'd be like, hey, we're moving to Missouri. You, um, your kids can have some overalls. <laughs> but yeah, that was the haul. All of this was a hundred bucks. So two pairs of jeans, three shirts, two overalls. The overalls were not on sale, but um, I just thought it, they were really cute and it kind of fits me. And um, so I just thought they were super cute. Huh. What, are you fussy? Are you fussy? Okay, but that will conclude this vlog just because um, I'm gonna have to take care of him for a little bit and I've showered. And I'm just gonna start settling and just get a few things done um, just around the house, reorganizing stuff, but nothing big. So I hope you enjoyed um, today of organizing and just getting stuff done. So like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.